Welcome to ScanSource TV. We are live at the ScanSource Partner Conference in Savannah, Georgia. Joined right now by Roger Jenkins of Excalibur Integrated Systems. Roger, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Scott. Obviously been an interesting and times difficult year for many people in the industry. The economy has added a challenge to just about everybody out there. What kind of challenges does a reseller like you face in an environment like this? Well, obviously, uh, like most other resellers, we have projects that are being canceled, some that are being put off and delayed, others that are being cut back and scaled back on. And, and uh, uh, just to get right to it, it's been a pretty tough year. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, even with a uh, year of challenges, there's also a year of opportunities. Well, obviously, always opportunities out there. Are there particular markets or particular technologies that right now you think really would be a good place for you to spend some time looking for business? Well, we made that decision some months back. Uh, in fact, about 18 months ago, we started looking at mesh technology. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like that mesh is about to become of age. Mm -hmm. We're doing a lot with it. We came out of the, the typical wireless market to begin with. We do our own site surveys, we do system designs, we install. And as mesh has begun to mature, uh, we've taken hold of it. And uh, a lot of that had to do with uh, when the economy started getting bad, uh, I sat down and I analyzed. I said, okay, what industries and what verticals can we move into? where when times get bad, they still do business. Right. Uh, medical, it's always going to happen. There's going to be medical problems. Uh, we look at government. Even while government scale back, they still got to go forward. Mm -hmm. So we chose government and uh, chose the mesh product, and, and uh, we're hanging a lot of our future on that. Mm -hmm. uh, and historically, uh, where most of our business has been in manufacturing, warehouse distribution, we still do a lot of that. Right. But we're really looking to the government sector for the future. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you hearing from end users? Obviously, they're being affected by this economic environment, too. What kinds of solutions do you think they're looking for right now to kind of help solve some of the challenges they're facing? Well, the obvious answer is something that provides a lot of ROI. Mm -hmm. The bigger the ROI, the more impact that it can have, uh, the closer they're taking a look to it. So we're really looking close at the application-based solutions that can help them cut cost, uh, provide solutions to problems that they've not been able to uh, manage before, and and uh, everything seems to be wrapped more and more around ROI. Mm -hmm. Well, what, uh, what kinds of things can vendors and distributors do to be most supportive of a reseller like you, not just in times like these, but just in general? Well, in general, I'm looking for a way uh, that we can not only provide a complete solution, mm -hmm. key phrase or key word being complete, but at the same time, I want to be able, be able to provide a complete solution in a way that blurs the lines of where the manufacturer and the distributor and, and the bar separate. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, if I can take a typical manufacturer like a Motorola going through a scan source, through an Excalibur to the end customer, mm -hmm. and if that line is seamless and, and we're working in synchronization, that's the way a partnership is meant to be, that's the way the relationships work, and that makes our business very solid, and that, that's what we continue to look for. Well, on the flip side, what are the most destructive things that vendors and distributors can do to channel partners like you, and what do you want to not see them do? Well, I hate to see any one of them get too greedy. Mm -hmm. uh, if a manufacturer gets to the point where they price it out of the market, mm -hmm. uh, if they cut the margins so short that you can't be competitive in the marketplace and still make a decent operating margin, mm -hmm. and that, that's across the board. You know, I don't think that they, I, I need to be making. 90% margins on every deal I make and, and the manufacturer make 2%, distributor make 2%. There's, there's an uh, equitable basis there that we need to all work together mm -hmm. and understand, you know, I understand that if, if ScanSource isn't financially stable, that threatens my business. Or if Motorola is not financially stable, that threatens my business. Mm -hmm. Likewise, I like them to understand that if I'm not financially uh, stable, that threatens their go-to-market strategy. Sure. Well, obviously, we're here at the Partner Conference. Um, what do you get out of attending uh, conferences like this, and what are you hoping to achieve while you're down here? Well, first and foremost, I believe our business is still a relationship-based business, and, and it's always good to see you know everybody from Mike Bowers to Jeff Yelton to Mark Morgan, you name the crew. Right. Uh, just got out of the hallway with Bobby McClain talking to him, and to me, one of the most important parts of business is, again, that relationship. I want, I want our, our relationship uh, to be one that, that, like I'm an extension of my customer's business, mm -hmm. I want ScanSource and, and our manufacturers to be an extension of my business. And again, I go back to that phrase I used earlier, I want the lines blurred. Right. I want it to be so seamless that the customer can't tell where it's coming from or what's going on. Mm -hmm. They just know that through Excalibur, everybody's doing their job and the solutions are being provided and, and their needs are being met. 
Great. Roger, thank you for your insight. Appreciate you meeting with us today. Scott, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.